Hello? Hey. Hey, yeah. That's why I was calling you earlier. That's why I was going to send you the text because I, I couldn't, I've never seen a, a situation where it was so unprecedented that a person would be fined so much just for marijuana. I said, this is crazy. Like 900000 So I, I asked him, I was like, uh, so what's going on with, you know, this sentence compared to other guys who tested positive for steroids? And he says it's a percentage base. He said it's because he made $3 million in the fight, you know, but at least he got to keep 70% of his purse. But he says it's all percentage based. So he's like, he probably is the highest guy to be fined that much, but it was all because of the percentage of his purse. Like I told him, I was like, I've never seen that in professional sports. And he, he tried to bring up different reasons, um, like uh, like because he did he lied on his pre-fight um, examination when they asked him questions of did he take marijuana, and he said it was eight they days. They never asked that question. He's lying. He's lying. They never asked. There's a form. doesn't even relate to marijuana. Bullshit. They're trying to justify what isn't there. But he explained that uh, it was a second offense because before he had a diuretic and then this time it was It was. That's bullshit. Let me tell you something. What the hell is it the commission's business? Finding of anything but smoking a joint 10 days before a fight. What the fuck does that to do with the tea in China? Cops. Let the cops. <laughs> uh, regulate that. I don't give him a traffic ticket for a hundred dollars. I mean, this is absurd. But we also talked about, uh, you know, what if he entered a, a drug program? You know, that and we've seen in many cases that has even suspended the sentence. And he said, "Wow, he's like, he, they've never had that happen." But he wouldn't. He just said it's a possibility because they. They never really looked into it. They never really had a case where they had to deal with that before. So they said, yeah, it's a possibility. Yeah, that happened before. You have a bunch of rock-ripped Republican conservatives who aren't living in the current century. Period. So do you feel that um, he even needs to take a program or a drug program at all? Of course not. Of course not. Do I need to take a program? <laughs> <laughs> I've been smoking my own, I've been smoking my own for 50 years. <laughs> I don't smoke it all the time, I smoke it occasionally. What's wrong with that? It's not legalized in some states in the United States. Oh, Anybody can get a prescription for medical marijuana. And within the next 10 years, it'll be totally legal. So, you know, what are they talking about? Now, Performance enhancing drugs, when somebody gets an advantage, you can hurt your opponent. Find a guy, I don't give a shit what you find. But for, for, for pot, are you fucking crazy? <laughs> yeah, he said that uh, marijuana, I mean steroids, if he, if he had had steroids, it would have been a year suspension. Um, for it's 12 months for a second offense, but for like marijuana or any type of other drugs, that's like normally uh, six months. But it, it, he got an additional three months because he had tested for a diuretic earlier. So that's what brought it to nine months. I, I couldn't keep up with all the numbers of how they add this and subtract it. So it just, I just, just was in shock because I've never seen anybody for marijuana. Let me tell you, this will, be handled by the, this will be handled by the court. Meanwhile, fighters have to think twice before they get the Getting big purses going into Nevada to fight. That's why Marquez and Pacquiao, I don't think, will fight in Nevada. I mean, uh, especially dealing with that situation. It's insane. It's insane. 
The next thing they'll do is, is finding a fighter for chewing gum at the way. And just changing the subject uh, a little bit, uh, what do you feel about this uh, this Showtime deal with Mayweather? Good for Showtime, good for Mayweather. Let's see how it works out. You're never wrong with that. Let's see how it works out. Okay. Is, um, is there any way in the future we could see some top ranked cards on Showtime? No. You know, they're going to want to try to put the Lucas Matisse and Brandon Rios fight together down the line after this Alvarado fight, depending on if, if Brandon Rios is successful against Alvarado. Well, I guess they won't be able to, will they? <laughs> but Rios being the bigger name, shouldn't it be on HBO? I mean, he's the bigger name out of the two. Absolutely. But that was pretty much the the main question I had. But if Tim Bradley is successful after this fight, what are some of the opportunities he have uh, in the future? Well, he can fight Brandon Rios. Oh, okay. If Brandon Rios beats Alvarado. That's a good fight. Yeah, that will be a great fight. I'd love to see yep. what Brandon could do at 147. Well, I think he wants. Well, to, I think he well, wants to clean up one forty. We could do that fight in a catch weight. Bradley is a one forty seven pounder, really. Yeah, he can. He can easily go from forty to forty seven. He's not a full fledged forty seven yeah, guy. Right. Yeah. But you think uh, Brandon would want to clean out the one forty division first, like with Danny Garcia and all those guys? No, fuck that. Who gives a shit? He's gonna fight. He's gonna fight where the most money is. Okay. Who cares about cleaning out his division? He's not a janitor. <laughs> but but that, that's what you know. The fight fans, everybody want to see that fight. You know, they want to see a fighter clean out. No, they don't. And, and no, they don't. You ask the fight fans, they rather see Randy Rios fight Danny Garcia or 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 Tim Bradley. I think uh, a big percentage of the front, the, the most. Biggest percentage of the fight fan would say Timothy Bradley. Okay, and um, an Adrian Broder fight because uh, Rios has been going off on him lately. You know, he said he really wants that fight. He really wants to to prove that Adrian Broder isn't Floyd Mayweather. Huh? That's always a possibility, also. Okay. Well, I think we caught up the bases now. Have a, have a, have a good joint tonight. <laughs>